We are going to continue to look at graphing to solve systems of linear inequalities, uh, specifically looking at word problems. In the previous lesson, what we looked at was a problem having to do with bow riders and fiberglass boats, and we took a less mathematical approach and a more uh, just systematic approach and, and looking at specific coordinates or specific combinations of fiberglass boats and bow riders that would meet the criteria, uh, which took a little while to do. In the next one, we're actually going to see what if we took a mathematical approach. So in other words, what if we made the system of linear inequalities before we graphed all the possible solutions? And that's what we're going to do in this particular question. Uh, so this particular question, I will read it and then we'll go over it and talk about the difference. Uh, it says a sloop is a sailboat with two sails, a mainsail and a jib. When a sail is fully out or up, it is said to be out 100%. When the winds are high, sailors often reef or pull in the sails to be less than their full capability. Jim is sailing in winds of 22 knots, so he wants no more, I'm going to highlight this in pink, no more than 80% of the mainsail out. That's one criteria um, for this particular, or called the constraint for this particular problem. Uh, the other thing is that Jim also wants more mainsail out than jib, so that's more criteria. Uh, the question says, and it's a little bit less uh, systematic in the sense that it's not down to specific letters, it's just a problem unto itself. It says, Write a system of inequalities to represent all the possible combinations of mainsail and jib that Jim can have out. Then represent the solution set on a coordinate plane. So in other words, we would like to represent on this graph all of the possible combinations of mainsail and jib that Jim can have out, given his constraints. So the first thing I'm going to do is represent the variables. So we are going to let M equal the percent that the mainsail is out. So we're dealing with a mainsail and a jib, <clears throat> and they can be up to 100% out, and J is going to be the percent that the jib can be out. Okay, and what you'll see here on the axes, I've already labeled them with M and J. You could label them the inverse way. You could have M on the vertical axis and J on the horizontal. I've just chosen to do it this way, and I've gone up to 100% on each axis. Now what we're going to do is represent each of the constraints as an inequality. So if I look at this pink constraint, no more than 80% of the mainsail out, what that actually is, is this, is that the mainsail has to be less than 80%, although that is slightly inaccurate. It says no more, so it can also equal 80%. There's one of the constraints. And we can actually take that into its entirety and go ahead and graph that inequality. So, to graph that inequality, uh, the boundary line would be where m is equal to 80, and it's going to be a solid boundary line. So here's m is equal to 80. And we can test a point if we would like to. We can see if 0, so we're basically asking ourselves, is 0 less than or equal to 80? And the answer to that is yes. So what we would do then is shade this entire side of that line. In other words, what I'm shading here is combinations uh, that would all have the mainsail out less than 80%. Okay, and I could take more time on this, but I'm just going to do a quick shading job. These are all combinations where the mainsail is out less than 80%. Okay, we'll apply some more restrictions later. So there's the first constraint. Uh, the second one here is the blue one. It says Jim also wants more mainsail out than jib. So he would like his mainsail to be more than his jib. Are they allowed to be equal? If it says more mainsail than jib, the answer would be no. So there's, there's no or equal to sign. So mainsail is greater than jib. Uh, that boundary line can be a little bit tricky for some. So the boundary line is where m is equal to j. So if I substitute m equals 0, I would get 0 equals j or j equals 0. So that's this point here. And if I substitute j equals 0, I'm going to get the exact same intercept. So technically, so I have m equals 0. Technically, I only have one intercept. Uh, in this particular case, because we have two variables, uh, to get the other another point on the line, you can just choose any point that you'd like to. I'm going to choose m equals 1. So if I substitute m equals 1 into here, I would get 1 equals j. So in other words, j equals 1. So that's the coordinate when m equals 1 j equals 1 as well. So that's this coordinate here. That's the coordinate 1, 1. 
And because they are not allowed to be equal, there's no equal to sign there, this line is going to be a dotted line. Okay, so here's what it looks like at this particular point. There we go. Okay, uh, and to figure out which side of this line to shade, we could take a test point, but again, we can't take a test point that's on the boundary line. So we can't use the point 0, 0, or 1, 1, or 2, 2, or 3, 3, or 4, 4. We have to use some other point. So I'm going to use the, the point uh, right here. Let's just test out this point. This is the point 40 and 0. So I'm going to ask myself, is, because 40 represents the M coordinate, is 40 greater than 0? And that particular answer to that question is absolutely yes. So I would shade that side of the blue boundary line. So it would look like this. Okay. So while I'm shading this, let me just talk about a few things. First of all, what you're noticing is that while I am highlighting the blue over the pink, uh, they combine to make some purple color. And that purple color is actually the solution region. So what that solution region indicates so this purple region here, or the dark blue color that you're seeing here, that indicates coordinates or combinations of mainsail and jib where both of the criteria, or both of the constraints are met. So uh, you could have, this represents where there is no more than 80% to the mainsail out, as well as there's more mainsail out than jib. And you can take any particular point and see if that's true. So I mean, let's look at this point, for example. You could take any point in the solution region. So this is uh, 60 mainsail and 30 jib. We are suggesting that's a solution. Again, we're already done the question, uh, but I'm just focusing on a particular part here. Does that coordinate or combination, 60 mainsail and 30 jib, meet the criteria? Is that no more than 80% of the mainsail? Yes. Does that also meet the criteria that there's more mainsail out than jib? Yes. So we can sort of assume that we've done this correctly. And you can take any point in this uh, solution region here and it would meet the criteria. The last thing we need to do uh, is deal with the restrictions and we know that you can't have any you can't have a sale out a negative amount. You can't say I need that sale out negative 10%. Uh, so what we're going to do lastly is cross out all of the negative quadrants. So finally your solution region which I'll indicate more clearly just so you're clear about what we're looking at here. This is your solution region here, this triangle. This represents all the combinations where the mainsail is not out more, any more than 80% and there's more mainsail than jib.